Yeah, ma'am. Good? That's awesome. phenomenal. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Theo Williams and we're back at it again for another tasty episode of America's Best Restaurants. Today we are in Dubuque, Iowa at the Vault Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge and I can't wait to taste the delicious food. And I also heard this used to be a bank vault. So I can't wait to take a look at the awesome decor in this amazing looking building. So it's time to stop talking, get to the eating. Hey, how's it going today? Hey, going great. I got something here for you. Woo! I got our Vault Buster Burger and our Old Fashioned for you. Oh, uh, see, clearly they know what I like because these are two things that I love the most in the world. A burger, a bacon burger it looks like, and an Old Fashioned, it doesn't beat that, man. What kind of, like, so I see a lot of bacon on here. I see crispy onions. Yep. What is on this burger? What's, what's, what's special about the Vault Burger? Well, it starts off with our uh, brisket blend uh, patty itself. Uh, very delicious, very tender, very moist. Four pieces of bacon, aged cheddar, <laughs> then uh, crispy onion straws. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then uh, one of our super soft buns right there. And then oh. our French fries. That all sounds so amazing, dude. Oh it my is. goodness. I'm gonna cut into this right quick. But hey man, so uh, how long have you been working here? Uh, about two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. Probably. So how do you like working here? Anything, any good stories, anything like that? You know, what's the vibe in this place? Well, it's very, it's very hip, new. It's down here in the, uh, the old uh, district where it's kind of revamped <clears throat> and redone down here. So we're kind of making it you know, with, mixed in with the nightlife. Um, so yeah, a lot of new menu items, stuff like that kind of fits right in. Nice, that is awesome. So I'm gonna pick this burger up. Look how juicy that is. I mean, that's big. That's a thick burger right there. Tons of bacon tons of the crispy onion straws. I can't wait to just jump right into this. Good, huh? Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Need some extra napkins, do you? <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. please. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always forget about napkins because I just always want to eat the food. <laughs> Ma'am. Mm. Wash it down with our old fashioned. That burger, ma'am, what I love the most about it is the crunch. The onion structure. I sure. love the crunch of that burger. Absolutely. The bacon, perfectly crispy. Some places give you soggy bacon. And that really bothers me, soggy bacon. <laughs> Absolutely. Then you got the crispy fried onions. Tastes like there's a bacon jam or something in there. Yeah, there's a bacon aioli mm. and uh, also a bacon jam. So we have kind of uh, two different bacon flavors there. Wow, yeah. yeah. This is like the ultimate bacon burger. I don't care. Really bacon is. Baconator, step aside. You ain't got nothing <laughs> on this bad boy right here. Got nothing on him. And now I'm gonna try this uh, old fashioned, wash this down. Let's get the party started. Woo! <laughs> That's how you get the party started, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, that was all so delicious. Thank you so much for dropping this to me. Absolutely. Um, it was all good. And um, I want to just keep on munching on this burger, but I got to go and talk to the chef. He's going to be uh, going to be making me something pretty delicious. So yeah. I really appreciate it. I will. I will absolutely talk to Chef Frank for you. Appreciate Thanks, it. my man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so right now I'm standing here with Chef Frank, and he's getting ready to cook us up something real delicious. I see the ingredients already laid out here, so tell me what's about to happen. All right, so this is our for our Cajun pasta here. This is our house in-house made Alfredo sauce. Ooh. And then we have some roasted red peppers. Ooh, okay. Some Cajun blend and some cayenne. Oh, this so, is going really spicy, huh? <laughs> a, little, a little kick to it. Nice, nice. All right. Yeah, so we just add these all in. All right. Now, what goes into the Cajun seasoning? Can I ask that? 
the Cajun seasoning is um, something that we order in. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, All right. And there goes the red peppers. Yep. Roasted oh. red peppers. Mm, I know this is going to be good already, man. And then just take the immersion blender here. Whip that up. Oh yeah. I love watching it turn colors, yep. getting that good Cajun look to it. Like went from white to pink, cream to pink. All that flavor and that seasoning getting in there. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, if you're from the South, you're gonna like this. <laughs> All right, so we're all done with this process, right? Yeah, so now on to cooking it. All right, so we're gonna head over to the stove and uh, get to that final product, baby. All right, guys, so right now I'm here with Chef Frank. We already just took a look at him making the, the Cajun pasta sauce. And now you're getting ready to take that Alfredo sauce that you just mixed in and made Cajun and do something more special with it. So tell me what's about to break down. So take my skillet here, take the Cajun sauce, Oh man, I just, I honestly, I just kind of want to drink it, to be honest with you. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> All right, then what we do is we add our protein. Okay. We got chicken, andouille sausage. Love andouille sausage. Oh man. And shrimp. There we go. All right. And then we take our penne pasta, add that to the sauce and protein. Got the penne in there. Cook it up. All right, so right now he's just mixing in all the different ingredients right now over top of a flame as he has that andouille. By the way, andouille sausage, if you're not from the South, never lived in the South, man, let me tell you, you're kind of missing out if you've never yeah. had andouille sausage. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so right now you got all of that over top of the flame. What's going to come up next? So basically a few quick tosses mm -hmm. and then plate it. Voila, voila. Oh man, that sounds easy yet satisfying. And I can't wait. Oh, look at, you know, see? See, showing off for the camera right there. <laughs> You're like, let me flip this for y'all. Uh, it's years of practice. <laughs> I bet, man, I bet. <laughs> How many years you been in the business? Uh, 15 plus. 15 plus? Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. That sounds awesome, man. So you must really have a passion for food. I do. I really enjoy just giving people good quality food, you know, comfort stuff. Absolutely. So. And I love the fact that you said all this is made in-house, that sauce, yep. so, you know, okay. from scratch, like they really go out of their way for quality here, guys. That's one thing I really want to impress upon all the viewers at home. All right. Oh, mama, that looked good. If you guys can smell what I'm smelling right now, you know it's gonna be a good <laughs> meal, man. I'm even picking up some of those spices that are coming off of that Cajun sauce yeah, and the and or Cajun seasoning. And then do we? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! And then a little bit of that hit of that can. I can't wait to taste this, man. So how long does this typically cook to uh, make start to finish? I say start to finish, a few minutes. A few minutes? You know, yeah. You know, we saw a lot of pasta here at the vault, uh, especially, you know, high volume weekends. We go through a lot of it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. All right. All right, it looks like we're almost at the finish line. And man, I'm telling you, I couldn't have come sooner because I'm a little hungry, to be honest with you. No, I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> well, other than that delicious burger. All right, plate it. All right, get it on a nice plate. And then we add a few other garnishes on top. Oh, 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 we're not done yet. We're, we're not, not done. done. You get a slice of garlic bread. Oh, oh God, I love garlic bread. Dress it up. There we go. Oh yeah. He just there added it with a little extra Cajun. Mm. There you be. All right. So this is what we are looking at right here. Woo! That looks beautiful, baby. Looks beautiful, baby. I love the smell coming off of that. So let me put this down right here because it's kind of hot. <laughs> Grab my little fork. And I'm gonna get into this, I'm gonna sink my teeth into this, get some of that pasta, some shrimp, some andouille. Mm. 
Mm. Let me take me one more bite. Because I love that Indulge sauce. It gives it that nice kick. Yeah. I mean, listen, this is a fantastic dish, man. Thank you. Like, I love the flavor of your Alfredo. You can tell this is made from scratch. This is not, you know, out of a jar or anything like that. You know, with the Cajun seasoning and the cayenne on top of the flavors that come from the andouille and the spice off the andouille, it gives it that real nice little kick. And then just adding the shrimp and then the chicken to it just takes it to a whole nother level. Nothing more to say. That's just good, man. That's good stuff. <laughs>all right guys right now i'm here with jesse he is one of the two owners of this lovely place here the vault as well as three mile house supper club three mile house supper club thank you i have a terrible memory <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for joining me here jesse hey thanks thanks for having me oh man i'm really excited to be here um i have two delicious meals that are sitting in front of me right now. Um, they, they, they both look spectacular. We're gonna get to that in a little bit, but first, I wanna get to know you and, and, and your journey a little bit better. How did it come to the point where you, because uh, you worked in the industry before you owned this restaurant, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, about 25 years. Okay, cool, cool. So how did you go from being a worker to being an owner and now having multiple establishments? Well, I've always wanted to own my own place. Um, you know, I'm all about the people in the business. I love the people. I love developing people. I had some friends that own a supper club here in uh, in Illinois, right across the bridge. They uh, introduced me to uh, the owners of Three Mile House Supper Club, and I uh, got into it about five and a half years ago, and been loving it ever since. Now, for those who don't know, because I'm one of them, what exactly is a supper club? <laughs> supper club is a different experience. You're not rushed to get in. You're not rushed to get out. You sit down. You get a homemade relish tray of these three dips that we make. You get some fresh cut vegetables, um, hand cut steaks, fresh seafood. Wow. Wow. It's just more of a family environment. It's kind of like our version of the Cheers, right? I got you, you know, yes. Uh, people hang out at the bar, they have cocktails, people come in to, to, to see Will or myself, and, and just, it's all about the people. So you're not you're not sitting there trying to turn tables. No. It's, it's about hanging out, chilling, having a good time, Absolutely. almost like European style. Oh yeah, right? they can get in as fast as they want to. They want to come hang out, have a good time have some nice uh, Midwest best old fashions. Yes, sir. Um, it's just a, it's a great dining experience. So we're talking about the other restaurant, but the vault here mm -hmm. is a beautiful building, by the way. Um, tell me about how you guys came to the vault, how it came to be. Um, Cause I know this story has a long history. It has a nice lineage of restaurants, but how did you and your ownership group come to the ownership of it. What was the process that led up to that? Well, somebody purchased the building. Um, they knew us from the Three Mile House Supper Club. Um, they thought we'd be a great fit here. This building has a lot of history. Um, it was a bank uh, back in 1901, and it ran as a bank uh, until about the Great Depression in 1932, closed wow. down. And there's been a restaurant um, in this building since about 1964. Wow. So it's been, has a lot of history. Um, we're just we're proud to proud to have it you know it's a very classic um upscale feel but it's Definitely. a uh, just a very casual atmosphere people can come and have a nice business lunch or have a nice cocktail at the bar and um you know we got in here during covid and uh pushed through made it through and we're uh we're we're thriving ever since we got a lot of good people here and I can imagine it like the building is so aesthetically pleasing, you yes. know, because you have um, it's, it's, it's such a modern feel, mm -hmm. but it's inside of an older building. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a marriage between the two. You know, you got the vault doors and, and you got, you know, the old pennies embedded into the bar mm -hmm. and embedded into the sign right here. Yep. But then at this at the same time, like the decor is modern. You know, you look at your bar, that looks like a modern bar. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, so who whose idea, like who like who made the aesthetics possible here? Well, um, you know, the, the person who built the building did all the decor and, and they made all the beautiful um, designs of the, the woodwork and, and the trim and everything like that. But, um, you know, we had this uh, kind of a prohibition theme cocktail menu. Mm -hmm. We wanted to keep it classy. 
Um, we, but we wanted to serve a lot of comfort food. We wanted anybody to be able to come in here with their family. And uh, you know, we just had this vision that this place would work and it's been here a long time. We wanted to make sure that the community really takes care of us. They, they really come and support us and we wouldn't have this place without the community and without the people that work here for us. Speaking of the community, so you know, since you've been here, how have you been received? What do you think the impact of the vault is on the greater Dubuque community? I feel like we're one of the go-to places in the downtown Dubuque area. Um, <clears throat> you know, we do a lot of uh, fundraisers with donations to different causes. Um, we have a, a cocktail for a cause that we do. Hmm. Each month we feature a different cocktail and every dollar from every signature cocktail that we sell goes to that cause. We just did the Dubuque Boys and Girls Club uh, last month. And this month is the uh, Dubuque Dream Center. Nice. So it's gonna help a lot of uh, a lot of kids out with whatever they need help with. That is awesome. Yeah. So you guys are really in the trenches helping out the community directly. Absolutely. That is awesome, man. I love to hear that. Um, well, you guys have a great establishment here. Thank you. Um, everything that I've tried so far has been delicious. Thank you. But now, you got the coup de gras right here, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> got the Parmesan crusted salmon. We got mm. bourbon apple pork shanks uh, made by Chef Frank and, and the rest of our, our great team here. Okay, so you said this is a bourbon apple pork, pork shanks. shanks. Yep. Oh, Are yeah. you playing with me, man? No, no. Oh, it's that good. sounds amazing. Funny. And I can smell, I can smell the apple. Oh yeah. Like I can already smell the apple. So I know this looks good. I'm gonna take this piece right here. Oh Get man. In there. And that feels so tender. It cuts right through, man. That's a nice, beautiful piece right there. That's a nice piece of pork shank. And I'm about to sink my teeth right into that. Team takes a lot of pride in making great food here. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? That is tremendous. Oh yeah. Wow. Sweet and savory, perfect marriage. I mean, I love the flavor of that apple bourbon. Oh yeah. It perfectly tops this properly seasoned pork shank. Did you tell that it was seasoned correctly before that was put on? Sometimes, a lot of times when people like to add glazes, mm -hmm. they forget all about the seasoning. Oh yeah. I don't know why. Now we gotta get a nice cocktail from the bar for you. Like an old fashioned <laughs> or something to watch it down. If anybody knows me, <laughs> they know I love a good old fashioned oh, yeah. baby. So I'm already here for that, oh, man. Yeah. That is phenomenal. I, Oh man, I mind if I take one more bite? Absolutely. Dig I in. gotta take one more bite. Dig that, in. that is phenomenal, dude. Like so juicy, so tender, sweet, savory. I mean, it's everything that you can ask for in a meat dish. Absolutely. I mean, seriously. Everything you can ask for in a meat dish. That's tremendous. But this bad boy right here. I've been waiting for it. People love that Parmesan encrusted salmon. So, Parmesan encrusted salmon. You got the lemons on the side. Are you supposed to spritz the wet oh, lemon yeah. on top? Should I spritz the lemon? Or you don't need to. Okay, well, I, I just want to know how, I want to know how the pros do it. I'd put a little lemon on top. Okay. Get a nice part of that crunch. Yes, get sir. That perfectly uh, seared crunch on that salmon and go to town. I get a little lemon on oh, there. Yeah. Sprinkle that on there, all right. Now we about to have a good time with this. I mean, Sam, oh, look how flaky that is. I'm gonna get this guy an old fashioned over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always here for it, let me tell you. Look at that. That is, that is. To die for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Good? That's awesome. phenomenal. Perfect. That's so light, flaky. Then you got that crust. Oh yeah. With the Parmesan and crust in oh, there. Yeah. Adds another dimension of savory with the cheese. Oh yeah. And the breading. Man. Don't need a dipping sauce for that. Not at all. No, you need nothing for this. Because it's, it's still, it's like it's cooked perfectly. You know, so you're not, it's not dried out or anything like that. Yeah, dude. I want to get the back end because I want that crispy part. Oh yeah. That super crispy part. Eat it almost like a nugget. You know what I'm saying? Like almost like a nugget, baby. Mm. Oh man. Oh yeah. It's good stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like a salmon nugget, dude. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. You bet, man. Thanks for thanks for coming down. That is super Appreciate tasty. It. Everything has been delicious, man. Thank you. You have a phenomenal restaurant here. Great bar, great staff. 
should be very proud of what you got Absolutely. here. Absolutely, can't do it without the staff. Got a great staff. Absolutely. Great people. Well, I really appreciate you inviting us here to the vault. Um, we've had a great time and uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, and America, thanks you. Thank you, man, appreciate it. I appreciate you. You bet. All right, well, I'm just gonna go back to eating this and have a good time. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I just had a phenomenal time here at the Vault Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge, and I gotta be really honest with you guys. Everything that I had to eat here was top notch. That encrusted salmon was delicious. That burger, the Vault Buster burger, heaven, especially if you're a fan of the bacon. And then I gotta tell you that pork shank with that special glaze on it, that, that bourbon apple glaze, whatever it was called, it was phenomenal. It was one of the best pork shanks that I've ever had. And then of course, that Cajun pasta was the die for. It was an amazing time here at the vault. I'm almost sad to say that it's time for me to leave, but at the end of the day, I still had some great meals and made some great people. I'm Theo Williams for America's Best Restaurants. Hope to see you.